Hello guys, welcome back. In this lecture of this course, we will work on another one to many relationship with user model. But before working on the association directly, let me explain what we will do with this association and why we need this in our application. So let's consider an example of LinkedIn. You see a lot of users on LinkedIn and if you are interested in their experiences and their profile and then pro portfolio, then you want to connect with them or you want to add them into your network then you have to send connection request to all such users okay and other can also feel the same for you and this is the feature we would like to implement in our project as well and as you can easily think of this feature that a user can have many connections uh, with him so we need to have a one to many association here so let's do that first switch to the terminal and generate a new model with name connection so come to the terminal and open a new terminal tab okay make sure your server is running in other tab so open the new terminal tab and here we need to generate a new model with name connection so generate it rails g model and here connection okay and now we need to add the attributes here so we can add attributes like let's say user references and then connected user id as integer and then status and it should be added as a string okay now let me explain that what these attribute will do okay so user id will represent the user who want to send the connection request and the connected user id will represent the user who receives the connection request okay and the status will represent the current status of the connection initially this must be in pending state and depending upon the user's feedback if they want to may uh, approve it then they can approve or they can uh, confirm it or if they want to reject this request they can reject it and if they want to delete a connection after accepting it they can delete as well okay so there are possible statuses like uh, uh, accepted rejected deleted pending and so on okay now generate this command okay and run the migration so here you can see that it will give you a migration and uh, model as connection.rb okay now run the migration so rails db migrate this will create table for the connection model in our schema.rb okay now come to the user model and define the has many association with the connection model so switch to the project directory in any text editor and then open the user.rb okay and in this user.rb uh, we need to define uh, association with connections okay so what we can do here has many connections okay and if you wish you can add a call back here that is dependent destroy okay so if we delete any user then their connection will automatically get deleted okay and you, if you wish you can do the same thing for work experiences association as well so let's do that here okay so now in that way if you a user get deleted all of its work experience will deleted automatically okay now open the connections model and there we need to add some validations okay so first uh, save the user model and now open the connection.rb okay and here you can see that as we added user references so a belongs to association is already defined here now in this connection model we need to define the association for attributes like connected user id and statuses okay but before adding it let me show you the schema.rb okay in the schema.rb here you can see that this is our connection table and we have user id connected user id and status attributes here okay so now add the association so we can add validates and then connected user id and it must be presence true okay and now we need to add validates status okay and presence true okay and here we need to add one more validation rule that is inclusion okay and it must be like uh, uh, first provide the in option and there here we need to provide the options so we can provide options like uh, it will create an array by the way uh, person w so we can add pending and accepted and rejected and then deleted 
okay so these are all possible values for our uh, status attribute for the connection model okay so either a connection can be in pending status can be accepted status or can be rejected or can be deleted okay now save the connection.rb model file and here the association between the user model and connection model has been saved now let's add a link on the ui for sending the connection request so open the show.html.trb of app views member so first come to the app views okay and here we need to add this link on the show.html erb of members connection okay and here in the show.html.erb you can see that we created a partial to display the members personal detail as member personal detail partial so we need to open this okay and here where here the at the place there we are displaying the personal details like username and user address and so on so here we need to add that link okay so first we will add a div element here with some id okay because we will need this uh, dom id when we try to create uh, when we try to send a connection request or when we try to perform any action on that connection request okay so what we will do here first we will add a div element and add an id to this dom element so user connection says status okay and now end this div and inside this div first we need to check if user is signed in or not okay if user is signed in then we need to do one more check if user is not current user itself and there is no connection present between current user and this user okay so we can create an instance method in the user model to implement this check but let's add the condition here first and we will add this method in the user model after it okay so what we can do here first is check if user is signed in or not so if user signed in okay if this condition is true then we need to switch to the next condition that is in the end now what we will need to do here current user dot check if already connected okay and now we need to pass two variables here that is one is the current user and other is the user that we want to uh, send as connect connection request okay so current user and user okay now in this if part if this condition is true then we need to display our link okay so just to make uh, the I uh, just end this if block okay and now here we need to save link to okay then connect and add the path here that is connections path okay and add a class here that is let's say btn btn primary okay and save the show dot uh, save the partial file okay now since we added the connections path here so what we need to do now we need to define the resources for the connections in the routes.rb so open routes.rb and here after the resources work experiences what we need to do resources connections okay and save the route file as well now come to the user model and there we need to define the check if already connected instance method okay so you can just copy this method name from here so check if already connected okay and now open the user model again and at the last we can define this method so okay and now in this method first we need to check if user and current user are not the same okay so what we can do here current user is not equal to user okay and then we need to check if there is any connection request between the current user and the user present or not okay so what we can do here not current user dot connections plug connected user id dot include user dot id okay now first to make the words wrap so we can see this condition as better okay so now let me explain this condition what we are doing in the first part of the condition that we are confirming that current user and user are not the same users okay and now in the second part of this condition what we are doing this 
current user dot connections so it will load all the connections related to the current user okay and then we will check with connected user id so if users id is present within the connected user ids or if user is already connected with that current user then we will not show the link to connect okay if it is not present then we will show that okay so now save it okay and after saving the model we have everything uh, set up to display the link to send connection request on our uh, browser okay so now after saving the model switch to the browser okay and first you can see uh, refresh the page okay How, however make sure that you are signed in and your uh, server is uh, running okay so here you can see that i am at the my profile page okay so i cannot see the button to send connection request why because here in the connection what we are doing if user is not equal to current user okay so now user and current user are both the same users okay so this condition is failed so we cannot see the uh, button to send connection request okay and now let's visit any other user who is not the current user okay for example let's visit the profile of this okay so here you can see that the id of this user is one so we can see this connect button okay and if you try to see it for other users you can see that now if you click on this user for example let's say so the, so the id of this user is three okay and this user is not already connected with this user and it is not the current user so we are able to see the connect method okay and that's it about this lecture here we just set up the association between the user and connection model as a one to many relationship now in the next lecture we will work on how we can send the post request to rails controller actions using turbo stream and stimulus controller okay so far we just send the get request and we just open the bootstrap if we just open the form for creating work experience and editing user details in the bootstrap model using turbo stream request okay now in the next lecture we will try to send a post request to the rails controller okay meanwhile please try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe